Government has faced unprecedented resistance from the public in the last two weeks since the 1% tax on mobile money transactions and the 200 shillings per day per social media usage came into effect. Perhaps not surprisingly, government officials have made several contradicting statements in their response to the matter. A few days ago, President Joe Museveni clarified that the tax on mobile money should have been 0.5% instead of 1%. He has now issued another statement widely circulated by his ADs on social media. The president has ordered the tax authority to refund all the people who had paid 1% mobile money tax on transactions if parliament amends the excise duty law next week. This comes just a day after Prime Minister Dr. Hakana Rugunda told parliament that government will table amendments into the law next week. Government has noted public concerns regarding some of the elements in the implementation of especially tax on mobile money transactions and OTT. In the statement, the president also noted that since the tax was new, he signed into the law the 1% tax instead of 0.5 in error because he could not delay other tax measures. Provide for, for a, a tax on deposit. Earlier, government chief Whip Ruth Nankabirwa had informed parliament that the weekly cabinet meeting on Monday next week will discuss the amendments that will thereafter be tabled under the Excise Duty Amendment Bill of 2018. The Prime Minister said yesterday, government is considering this bill and we cannot uh, dodge cabinet because it is the procedure and I want to plead that you allow cabinet to sit on Monday so that we can present on Tuesday as we requested. However, Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga noted that Parliament cannot stop the implementation of the existing law, but could only urge the finance minister to expeditiously table the amendments. So what I'm saying to the members is that uh, we don't have capacity to interfere in any other way with that law, except by bringing an amendment here. Thank you very much. In the alternative, Kadaga urged individual MPs to come up with private members' bills on the same if cabinet delays. Can't we as parliament distract government to suspend implementation of this act until when it is reviewed. I therefore find it, uh, the one would say, baffling, confusing, perplexing, annoying that a law which is ineffective, which has a lot of irregularity, can continue to be implemented uh, when actually there is that admission. That is the reason why most members are saying as government brings works on the bill, the amendment, why don't we rescue Ugandans from continuing to remit these taxes? Because government is continuing to collect the taxes, in, which is an illeg illegality. I am totally against uh, the mobile money tax. Where I come from, Iringa South and the entire Yumbe district, we don't have a single bank. No single bank. My people do transactions strictly on mobile money. And now the tax is extremely too much that they cannot afford. Parliament will reconvene on Tuesday next week. Habat Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Is it